Hello, my name is Spencer Blake and I'm here to talk to you today about my rods. Alright, so first we have the whoops, Shimano Canaan paired up with the Quantum Catalyst. Pretty, I'd say a pretty solid setup. It's not, not really that great, but it's not bad. I uh, Basically what I use this for, it's a pretty heavy rod, um, specs on it. Uh, line weight 10 20 pounds can handle up to an ounce lure uh, it's medium heavy and I believe it is six foot six and um, yeah so it's a pretty solid reel I like to rig this up with heavy jigs uh, some little flipping and pitching stuff uh, this was really my flipping and pitching rod before I got the Celis. Um but no it's a I will Quite like this rod if I ever want to try new techniques. Most of the times I'll rig it up with this. Pretty good rod. Not bad for a Carolina rig. Uh, yeah, Shimano Canyon. Quite like the real handles. Everyone hates them. They're not bad, but they definitely don't. They're not the same as, let's say, the handles on a Corrado. But yeah, decent setup. Next one we got is the Shimano Celis Worm and Jig Rod. This is paired up with a Shimano Sedonia, rigged with a wacky rig stank bait, 4.25 inch stick in LJ Special Color. Um, this is my only spinning rod I have, so anything drop shot, wacky rig, I rig this up. Any, anything you can think of spinning, I rig it up with this rod. So this handles quite a bit um, in terms of versatility for this rod, quite well. Um, it's pretty sweet setup. It's light, good price point. Uh, this rigged up with 10 pound fluorocarbon, Berkeley 100%. And yeah, I like this setup. Next one, not rigged with anything yet, but it is the Bass Pro Shops Pro Carbon Light paired up with the Shimano Compre. This is my best setup, like money-wise. Uh, it's a pretty sweet rod and reel. Um, I, when I first got this reel, I was having trouble adjusting it, and I couldn't figure out why. It wasn't casting as far as I wanted to. Popped off the side plate, and I just manually adjust, manually adjusted those, which helped a lot. Now I can cast these really any bait a mile. Super smooth reel, rod, lightweight, can handle big fish. As you saw in my one YouTube video, got a big pike, he dug down in the weeds. It was risky if I was even gonna get him in. I got him in, that's why I used this rod and reel. Uh, what I rigged this one up with, spinner baits, big swim baits, the occasional crankbait, but yeah, it's a uh, medium heavy, fast action, six foot six. Uh, I can handle up to one ounce as well. So yeah, quite like this. Real solid. Probably one of my one of my go to combos. Next, we have the Shimano Celis flipping rod. What a classic. This is, uh, as, so as soon as I start thinking bank, I think this rod. Uh, reel, good solid reel, can handle some pretty big fish. I caught a huge bowfin on this actually, and uh, bowfin are just crazy like compared to like, the largemouth bass when they fight. Just digging everywhere, I had the, but it was a good thing, I had the power, pulled them up, got them in, and yeah. Uh, what I have this paired up with is a one ounce weight with a 10 inch Berkeley power worm. You can see that, yeah. Um, yeah but pretty, uh, pretty awesome combo. I quite like it. Uh, good for flipping and pitching big stuff and also I rigged this up with the umbrella rig. I quite like it. Um, I was reading online and I actually had this card if it was my first bait caster. 
reading online for what what reels are good for umbrella rigs and uh, 300 came up as 300A came up as one so I was like not too bad next rod Shimano Celis spinnerbait rod paired up with a Bass Pro Shop Pro Qualifier in the 5 2 to 1 gear ratio this is a pretty solid setup I'd say uh, the only thing I really goofed on I really wanted to burn spinnerbaits in and it was kind of silly of me to get the 5-2 to 1 but then again I did want to buy this reel for the spring late fall early spring so I can slow roll spinnerbaits but oh well I'll probably go get a high, higher gear ratio one of these because it is a great reel you can cast this thing a mile I have had no serious backlashes probably taken around 2,000 maybe even 3,000 casts with this thing but uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. Also has the power to land some big, big fish. As you saw in my Rondo Bay Bassin video, this was handling some pretty big bass. Next we have the Shimano Volteus paired up with the Shimano Canaan. Um, what I like to toss this one with, uh, right now I have the, a rattling trap on it. Uh, it's paired up with 30 pound Suffolk Spray. Uh, it's 6 foot 6. It's, it's a, only a medium power. And the reason I like that is because uh, in the springtime, sometimes the, uh, the pike don't hit as hard as in the summertime. And when they hit on real stiff rods, you, you go to hook set, but it just, it's so quick that it just drags that hook right over their mouth. Whereas when you're reeling in this one, they hit, bends down, boom, you got that fish on. Um, right now I have it set up with a rattle trap. Um, sometimes use this for deep water bassin. Sometimes I'll rig this up with a spinner bait. If I'm in if I was in a tournament, I uh, I quite like power fishing right off the bat. I'll have like three spinner baits rigged up just in case. Yeah, but this is a pretty solid rod reel combo. And last but not least, we have the big boy combo. This combo is a monster. This is meant for the big fish. This is the Bass Pro Shops Musky Angler. I got this paired up with 80 pound Suffolk Spray with a 100 pound leader. I, uh, I caught some pretty big pike with this in the fall. And uh, when we went to Lake St. Clair, had a muskie actually follow, and so maybe next time I'll be able to catch him. But no, this is a, uh, it's like eight, eight foot six, and uh, heavy power, fast tip, big heavy rod, meant for the big baits. But uh, if you're beginning muskie fishing, or you just wanna go for some real big pike, I definitely recommend this. Uh, it's a little bit low in the gear ratio. It really depends on what you're using. Um, if you need a high gear ratio, probably go with a Revo Toro winch. Um, if you just want to kind of learn how to musky fish like me, I, this just seems like a real decent setup. So yeah, that concludes it, and uh, thanks for watching.